Hi, I'm Mackenzie and I work in the marketing department here at Soundtracks. Usually you don't see me because I'm on the other side of the camera, but today I'm on this side of the camera to talk about the basics of soldering with you. First we're going to talk a little bit about safety. As you all know, the soldering iron gets really hot. We keep ours around 700 degrees, which is ideal for soldering, but not ideal for human flesh or your flammable furniture. So we need to make sure we're careful with where the tip of that soldering iron is. We're also going to talk about the tools. Uh, we have our soldering iron here. It's a 25 watt soldering iron. We don't recommend anything over a 40 watt soldering iron. That's a little bit too powerful for what we're doing. You're also going to need some wire strippers, wire cutters, flux. It's very important that you get an electronics grade flux, not plumber's flux or anything like that. That can damage your decoder. Uh, we have our leaded solder here. You can use leaded or unleaded. We're also going to talk about desoldering. So I've got a soldering braid and I'm going to show you how to solder wires to your decoder, to your speaker, or to another wire and how to heat shrink that. So let's get started. Before we solder our wires to the decoder, we're going to strip and tin the ends of the wire. So we're going to take our wire strippers about a quarter inch of the end of the wire we're gonna strip off the insulation and these are stranded wires so we're gonna twist them together so we don't have any extra wires getting in the way put a little dab of flux on the end of the wires grab our soldering iron clean off the end of it get a little bit of solder and tin the end of the wire now if the wire is a little bit longer than a quarter of an inch, we can always trim the excess with our wire cutters. Alright, now we're ready to solder some wires to our decoder. In this case, we just have our decoder held with this little homemade clamp made with a clothespin and some wood. In most cases, your decoder will be mounted into your model already. So if you're soldering there, make sure you do not have track power applied to your model while you're soldering. We're going to go ahead and solder this wire. We're going to just stick it through one of these holes here and apply some flux to the joint. Then we're going to get our soldering iron, clean the tip, get a little bit of solder, and hold it down to the joint for a couple seconds. So once our joint is secure, we can unclamp this Look at the underside. You can see that there's a little bit of wire sticking through that hole. So we can take some wire cutters and trim it off flush just to make sure this doesn't come into contact with any metal parts on your locomotive or any other wires. So to solder a wire to our speakers, we can use the same process. When I put the speaker in the clothespin, I'm going to make sure to put it all the way in there so that there's no pressure on the cone of the speaker. It's all on the frame. And then I'm going to take my pre-tinned wire, solder to one of these two outside tabs, put a little bit of flux and the wire, clean the tip of my soldering iron, grab some solder, and pull it down for a couple seconds. And we have a joint. We can also solder two wires together. If we're going to do that, we're probably going to want to put heat shrink over the joint. So I'm going to slide a piece of heat shrink over one of the wires before we solder them together. And we're going to use the same process here. I'm going to put a dab of flux on the wire. Then we're going to put this wire parallel along with that wire. Clean off our soldering iron, get a little bit of solder, and touch it to the joint. And then slide this out of the clamp a little bit so that the heat shrink can go over the joint. And we're going to use the barrel of the soldering iron to shrink the heat shrink. And now our joint is insulated. 
So we can use the same method for cleaning solder off of our decoder. You can see there's solder on this tab here, so I'm going to put a little bit of flux on that tab and clean off the tip of my soldering iron. Take the desoldering braid and press it down firmly to the tab of the decoder. And when it heats up, the solder gets sucked into the desoldering braid. All right, that's it. Soldering's really that easy.